Good morning, guys. We are still up in Michigan, so this is my second Michigan vlog. And today, my mom and grandma are actually driving up to Michigan for the Holland Tulip Festival. And what's funny is that we had already been planning to come to Michigan. And my mom had texted me and she was like, can we do Mother's Day until the weekend? We're going up to Michigan. And I was like, no way, we're also gonna be up there. So they're driving up today from Tennessee. Riley, I wanted to just expose Riley because she's been the most troublesome. Don't even. <laughs> she's been so troublesome this trip. Gives me a kiss, try to redeem it. <laughs> she's found something in the backyard for like four days in a row now and rolled in it and has smelt like literal poop or rotten fish. Like she has been so annoying because every time we let her out, she somehow finds it. Even if we let her out super quick, just go to the bathroom, she comes back in and she smells awful. So I've had to wipe her down pretty much every day. I just lost my voice. Hello? I just woke up, can you guys tell? But this morning, Jaywaz is going for a run and I am not going for a run. I am gonna chill here, probably read my Bible, do my journaling. And then also Jason's mom is making Swedish pancakes, which is a recipe that his mom's mom made, so his grandma made all growing up. And they're really good. They're basically like crepes and you can put fruit in them, peanut butter, whipped cream, all the good stuff. You like sprinkle them with sugar. I'm telling you guys, this entire trip, all we've done is eat and sleep. Just eat and sleep, repeat. His mom is like one of the best cooks ever and she makes all these incredible homemade dishes, but they are definitely loaded with either like honey, sugar, butter, or bread. So. I should go on a run this morning, but I think I'm just gonna try to get back into it when I get back to Nashville. So that's where we're at. Wendell, what do you like to put on yours? What do I like to put on mine? Yeah, yeah. butter, of course. Butter and uh, sugar. syrup. Sugar. And then, if I'm going high class, lingonberries. I've never heard of those. What are those? Lingonberries? Yeah, they're big. They're a, they're, yeah, a fancy cranberry. A cranberry. Ooh, that sounds good. Little, are they like tart at all? Yeah, they're a little tart. Yeah, that sounds really good. Yeah, he, he goes and taps yeah. a bunch of trees and makes some syrup. Well, it's next one. I mean, if no one's taking them. That looks good. That's smoker cigarette. They throw the, the verbs on a different spot. In Mila. Pogatana. That's I can drive my car down the street. No, I don't know much. I don't know much Swedish. I just. You know, you know the key phrases. I can drive my car down the street. <laughs> That's a real crucial really? one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Not like where's the bathroom, but I can drive my yeah, car. Yeah, do you know where's the bathroom? That's kind of an important one. No, you just. You just gotta jump around. <laughs> Here's my name in sign language. Where's the bathroom? W E N D E L L. Where does it? What does that mean? Next stop, please mind the gap. Please mind the gap. The name of the stop? Todeling. Todeling Ashtag. I can sing Happy Birthday in German. Ferlinger Birds Dog to Deer. Ferlinger Birds Dog to Deer. Ferlinger Birds Dog. Ferlinger Birds Dog. Ferlinger Birds Dog to Deer. Young Herbaliba, Young Herbaliba, Young Herbaliba, Ruth, 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 that's uh, happy birthday in uh, Swedish. Got my Swedish pancake, put butter, syrup, some raspberries, and then this is Jason's mom's homemade jam. Strawberry. All right, Ben, what do you put on yours? Yeah, oh. A lot of pressure. Really? <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> Dig deep, dig deep in those memories. What do you yeah, put on yours? I like turtles. Grab, let's see the syrup. Yeah. Just Dubio. syrup and butter. It's really classic. If you're feeling spicy, you got a little sugar too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you don't get enough syrup from the sugar. <laughs> sugar from sugar the syrup. From the syrup. <laughs> Ben's crumbling into the face. <laughs> he is crumbling. He doesn't even know how to talk anymore. It's too much of me. On camera. <laughs> Maybe he's camera shy. He's camera shy. Maybe. He's camera shy. Benny. All right. So he likes to roll his eyes <laughs> like a burrito. Benny. We're golfing it oh, too. Benny. All right, Jay Waz is here, back from his run. How far did you go? 
Uh, like two and a half. That's a short one. That's a fast one. Though. Feels really good out though. That's it's amazing. just like slightly chilly, but good running weather. I put makeup on and I want to show you guys my outfit. All right, so I've got on the Madewell puff sandals from my most recent Madewell haul. These are the lighter Madewell perfect vintage straight jean with the rips. And I've been wearing these and then the other pair that I got a different big wall <laughs> And then this is a new top from Abercrombie. It's like an oversized linen top And I think it comes in multiple colors, but I really like the rust color And then I've got on my Gucci chain wallet and my Ray-Ban sunglasses This is my outfit. It's like the first day I feel like I've actually dressed kind of cute because it's been so cold Looking good We are at Frederick Meyer Gardens Sculpture in Garden Park. Uh, it's basically like a, is it arbitrarium? What's the word? Like nature, they got like garden, gardens inside, outside. They have a beautiful butterfly rainforest set up inside. You'll probably see. Outside there's a sculpture park with a lot of great sculptures <laughs> and some greenery. So it'll, it'll be a good time, I think. So this winter has been pretty rough for Nashville and for Michigan and especially Minneapolis, what Jason's grandpa said. But everything's been kind of delayed. So we're one week early before true spring hits Michigan. So they've planted like a lot of bloomed flowers outside, but for the most part, all the trees and stuff are still dead. And we're pretty sure that next week after we yeah. leave, it's literally all gonna yeah, blossom. That was kind of like Nashville. I feel like we bloomed a little bit late this year too, but this is kind of like Cheekwood Gardens, I would say, but I think a lot more inside. So Cheekwood is in Nashville and it's a garden center as well. You can like walk around and stuff. It's really beautiful. They do a lot of themed things during the year, but the majority of Cheekwood is outside. Whereas I think this one actually, a lot of it is inside and it's super built up. It's really, really pretty. Man, look at those cutouts. You know, so modern. And the way they have the window with the slots and So cool. We'll go through this. This is the amphitheater, so every summer they have concerts here. It's super fun. They like get sold out cool. like really quickly. Oh, this is huge. There's like stuff up here too. Yeah, so this is all the this is the kids area, so you'll we'll probably see it, but they have like a whole sort of like jungle gym system. Do and, they like, do camps here stuff. or is it yeah, mostly? Really fun. Yeah. They do and then this is all the sculpture park. We'll see it, like the big horse and stuff. And cool. This is Fred Meyer. Oh. Lena Meyer. Killer plants, yeah. where they get stuck in them. We're looking for the Venus flytrap. This is the carnivorous room, so all of these plants are killers. So insects get stuck in them. Yeah, these are crazy. Oh yeah, they have like little little teeth right there. That's beautiful though. This one's giant. There's like a ton of water in that one. Crazy. Oh, it's so humid in here. Ooh. It's warm. Wait, no butterflies though. Wait, there are a couple. You know what happens? Like, why would they? They release them. They grow the butterflies. And they release them. So they released a lot of the butterflies on April 30th. We missed it by like five days. But there are a couple left. They're so pretty. But they like grow the butterflies here and then they release them, which is so, so sweet. It's so humid in here. I feel like I'm in a rainforest right now. I thought it was a mole. 
but they don't have wings. Cave. I feel like I'm at the zoo right now. Come on, land on one of these fools. <laughs> Come on. I saw a Oh, yeah, he's up there. This is Jaywaz's favorite plant. They're so beautiful. The hibiscus. Look at it. He's so tiny. Okay guys, we just found out from the exhibit lady that they actually don't release the butterflies because they wouldn't survive here. So they, they actually have like a two week lifespan. So they spend their two weeks in there in, in the paradise. nice, perfect yeah. paradise, warm weather. And then they just cease. Why don't you this? Go beans, go through the tiny door. Yeah, here we are. There's been a frog in every vlog. <laughs> they follow us everywhere. Hey, the frog Wait, go, go stand over by the. I'm a frog vlogger. Go stand by King Frog. <laughs> Version, extra large version. Imagine it 20 times larger to understand the scale of the 20 foot, 24 feet tall, two story house. Wait, there's an even bigger one? That one. Oh, that is the big <laughs> one. I was like, no way. And Nina, it says that this sculpture was created to be touched. Touch it, Lindsay. Yeah. Oh, this one was created to be oh, touched. Oh, yeah. You're looking good, Grandpa. Like that looks really good. It matched the dynamic movement of the horse. Mm, the dynamic movement. Oh, that looks yeah. amazing. Oh my gosh. Gift shop. Love Wait. a good gift shop. So Whoa, look at this planter. A little dish. Is it a plant? It's gotta be. It's cool. With Jason's sister now. We left the garden center and we're currently going to anthropology for some Mother's Day gifts. Oh. Oh. Hello. I got my mom some Missouri studs, but I remember that my grandma's coming up. So I need to get her something. And then, yeah, we gotta get something for Jason's mom as well, so. Some gifts. They know why we're here, Mother's yeah, Day gifts. Do. This really is the best place though. It smells so good. It smells so good. That's really cool. Pretty, these are pretty too. Are these candles? <gasps> I know. What? Sage. Oh, that's a really cool holder. Oh, Lindsay, this is so cool. Look at this. It's like in a wood block. Oh, sick. That is so cool. It's so big. That's awesome. Ooh, Smell that good? smells really good. It these smells are, very like musky. These are amazing. These holders. These are candles too? Yeah. You can reuse that as like a planter oh, cool. after. Honestly, all their candles are the best. This big boy. Oh There's a bigger one though, I think, too. Isn't there? Wait, this <laughs> one's so big. Here, hold it up for scale. I think it's like $100. Check the price. $108, yep. yeah. <laughs> it's huge. This candle Ooh, holder. Oh my gosh, and then these candles. That would be so cool. and then also went to West Elm really quick. And I got my mom an anthro volcano candle because that's iconic. And I got her a card from anthro. And then I also got 
my grandma some foot cream and then these overnight moisture socks because i feel like she loves any type of like hand cream soap moisturizer and she really really likes kind of soft fuzzy socks so this is like a home run moisture socks so i got her those and then i have a missouri gift for my mom and these are some studs very like dainty and small because my mom isn't into super chunky jewelry but i thought these were really cute i don't know if you guys can see they're like little x's and they are gold so she should be able to wear these with everything and she normally wears silver jewelry but at christmas she was saying how she wanted to get like a couple of gold pieces as well so majuri was actually super kind to send these over for her they're the best and then i ended up going to west elm with jason's sister Lindsay because we needed to get something else for jason's mom but while we were there i actually stumbled across these and i got these for pool season they are these really cool cups i feel like these are so trendy right now but they are plastic so i can have them out by the pool if we do cocktails or in my case mocktails because during well actually i take that back on jason's birthday we made a sake cocktail and it was a huge hit you could barely even taste the sake, which is a rice wine. And I was able to drink that without getting sick. And we had them in glass cups by the pool. And it made me just really, really nervous. So I got these. They're like a little bit smaller. Perfect for kind of cocktail vibes, but really cute. So that's what I picked up. I think I'm going to take a 20 minute power nap because I'm so tired. It like hit me in the car on the way back. So I'm going to take a quick nap. And I probably will just pick back up with you guys tomorrow when we do the Holland Tulip Festival with my mom. They're getting in at like 6 p.m. tonight. So I don't know if we'll see them tonight because they're actually staying in Holland. That's where the festival is. But I'll pick back up with you guys tomorrow. All right, I am vlogging on the phone today because sadly it's raining and I didn't want to bring my camera out. But we are in Holland, Michigan now and meeting up with my mom and grandma on Windmill Island. This time of year they do the Tulip Festival Apparently people all over the U.S. know about it because my family randomly knew about it. So we're here. It is a little bit dreary, but we just passed a pond coming into Windmill Island with all these beautiful swans. I tried to get a video of it, but I couldn't through the rain. So I'm going to do my best vlogging today. I'm sad it's kind of dreary though. This is really fun. There's my mom. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Rachel, she broke, she her, broke leg. her leg like three weeks ago. No. Hey, Ben, congratulations. <laughs> Tomorrow would have been perfect. Yes, yes. <laughs> Say hi, Mom. Hi. We're vlogging on the phone today. Yes. Picked a gross day. It's all right, though. It's but tomorrow pretty. we'll be signing for y'all. We got yeah. six. Hi. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> it is really beautiful, wow. though. It's such a cute little it's town. It is. Welcome to Sunny Got grandpa pushing Rachel because she, she broke her leg rock climbing with the cobblestone. Are you going through this water? <laughs> oh my gosh. Splash on safari over here. Splash zone! <laughs> oh my gosh. We are inside of the windmill on the ground level. This is the second floor of the windmill. Machinery. Storage floor.
I know it's warm. Yeah, we have one of these. You do. We have a couple. Look at these little wooden tulips. They're so cute. The little bouquet of them. That is so cute. Little pens. Paperweights. Tiny paperweights. Bottle openers. Keychains. We gotta get a tree ornament. Let's do Get a little clog. Tulip pens. Cute. Oh my gosh. Little vases. I love a gift shop. Fridge magnets. Oh my gosh, tiny clogs. Look at all the little wooded clogs. These are fake flowers, but they feel so real. I like picked one up thinking it was a real flower. In order to where we can do the key. That's probably the one we should do. Wait, that. go back. What was the other one? This is the ornament. I like those. Don't you feel like this will go on the branch from the museum? Yeah, but you can just put a little hook on that one. Or we could get a big one. Just a single clog and hang it. <laughs> the giant clogs. This is gonna fit you? I mean, yeah, I'm a 1450. Oh my gosh. Dude, those look awesome. Das Klaut. Das. <laughs> oh, that's still too big. I gotta try a child's three, four. Oh wait, that uh, my toes are hitting. Dude, those are sick. Hello everyone, it is the next day and it's actually our last day here in Grand Rapids and so we're headed to Madcap or probably not our last Madcap, we'll go tomorrow, right? Yeah, we'll probably leave. go on the way out too. Yeah, we're picking up a bag of coffee and then grabbing some coffees before we head to the other tulip farm in Holland. There's like this really big one apparently that is a lot larger than the one that we went to yesterday and the weather's so nice today we've actually got the windows open as we've been driving because it is perfect sunny at like 65 and of course we're leaving right as the weather gets good here but we are excited to go back home to nashville we're trying to enjoy our last day here we started at wealthy street bakery got a chocolate bear claw a croissant breakfast sandwich and then hitting up our favorite coffee shop Madcap, I got an ice matcha. Jay Waz got new moon spring blend. Pour over. Pour over. <laughs> and we actually caught the farmers market on this street, and this is our first time going to it because every time we miss it, I feel like we drive by, mm -hmm. and it's always like the end of it. So. We're walking over there now because it's a really, really nice day, and we're just gonna pop over there before we head to Holland. Just parked, got to Holland to see the tulip farm, and it's kind of popping today. Lots and lots of people are here, big attraction. First, really, really nice day that we've had on our trip, so I'm really not surprised that it's popping today. In a way, it's almost like Costco where it's all just 
codes for different tulips. So you're paying fifteen dollars to see what you could buy. I think they make more off people paying to get in or off buying the actual thing. Definitely so more off people paying to get in. Fifteen dollars per person per adult. And then yeah, it basically is like one big showroom of all of the different types of tulips that you can purchase. But it's really pretty. Don't be a hater, Jay No, no, I'm not a hater, I just think it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> I had no idea there were even this many flowers, different types of flowers. They're so pretty. I know. This beautiful tree. All of the tulips all intermixed in this beautiful, beautiful garden. We had dinner, had my mom and grandma over to Jason's family's house. And now we are ending today with a sunset pier walk in Grand Haven. We're gonna be walking over to the lighthouse and then stopping by Norm's for some late night ice cream. Full pants. Oh, you're filming me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I said say hello. Oh, I thought you said yellow. I thought you were showing them the sunset. <laughs> Deer tracks, peanut butter oh, cup, fudge. It's the kid size. Oh, kid. Ginormous. Three scoops of the kids. College. Back home after ice cream. Packing up, ready to go. Gonna deal with this situation. But more importantly, Jason's situation. Hi, Ra. You ready to go home to Nashville? But I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging with us in Michigan again. And be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.